<laughs> well, former First Lady Laura Bush and her daughter, Today Show correspondent Jenna Bush, have had the privilege of seeing some of the most beautiful places in the world, and they want you to get out and experience them as well. Yeah, they definitely do, especially our national parks, which are featured in their second book called Our Great Big Backyard, and we are so excited to chat with both of them right now. Welcome, ladies. Hi, thank you very much. Okay, so, so many great parks out there to visit. Yeah. Do you have a favorite that you like to go to? Well, I love the Grand Canyon, of mm -hmm. course. That was the first park I hiked in with my childhood friends 30 years ago. <laughs> and then once, while we lived at the White House, one summer we invited our daughters to join us, and once again we did that. They Colorado took us River once. Trip. They right? took like, us yeah. once. We shared a tent together and she never <laughs> invited me it. back. That that was was no, I was like, what did I do wrong? <laughs> but now you love it as much because you go with your friends. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love the national parks. My favorite is Acadia in Maine here on the East Coast. My husband proposed to me. Oh, well, that's going to make it On the top of the Cadillac Mountain when the sun first hit the United States. It's the farthest east place, so it's the place where the sun first hits so the you right. That's a good one. Yeah. He likes to be outdoors he as well. He likes to be outdoors. Yeah. He's real, I just camped with Natalie on the Today Show. Oh, yes, I saw and, that. And I, and I said, I love camping. I really do. But then she was like, why can't you put the tent up? I'm like, oh, I really rely on Henry <laughs> I, I for everything. That part. <laughs> but, but one of the messages in the book is to look up. And That's I know, right. Jenna, you said that your mom really instilled that in you when you were a kid, and you're trying to teach that to your children. It's really hard It's hard. It's, it's hard. really hard. And All of us. Every yes. one of us are constantly yes. looking at a screen. So it's a message for parents, too, yeah, to look up is. and get your children to look up. And that was one of the things that was hard for me when I first started work again as a new mom. Yeah. Yeah. Is that I'd get home, and I would look at my iPhone and start. And there were work messages, work email, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, every precious second that I'm with my daughter, yeah. I want her to know that I'm paying attention. Yes. To That's nice. And mm -hmm. it's hard in this world that we live in. Oh, yeah, look how cute <laughs> they are. They're so, <laughs> so cute. They're so, they're so cute. adorable. They're so great. So <laughs> well, you and Michelle Obama, um, our honorary co-chair mm -hmm. celebrating the 100th anniversary of the National, National Park. Park Service. Now, That's what right. does that involve? Well, it just re it, there are wonderful activities going on at every national park around the country. A national historic site. Mm -hmm. uh, all of we have 398, I think, national park sites. They're either the big parks that we think of, like yeah. the Grand Canyon, yeah. or they're our most precious historical sites. So everyone can look on the web. Uh, find out what your closest parks are or your closest sites and take your children and visit them. And they're closer yeah. than you think, right? That's right. Yeah. They're, they're closer than you think. They give you a, a real in, uh, lesson in American history. That's and they nice. feel like a world away. That's they right. Do. Yeah. yeah, you only think of the really big ones, but yeah. no wonder they're 300 yeah. plus. Yeah, yeah exactly. There's well, a lot here in New York City. And one yeah. of the reasons why they feel like a world away is that there's no cell phone service. Yes. And yes. you know what? No problem. Because <laughs> then you, you're, you're not going to change that. <laughs> then, you have, then you have an excuse to look up. Exactly. Yeah. You have time exactly. to talk and have this uninterrupted family time, which is pretty That's precious. That is. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. speaking of Michelle Obama, she's spending her final days at the White House. That's um, right. We just saw her at the Invictus Games in Florida. Yeah. We hosted mm -hmm. the Invictus Games with Prince Harry for Wounded Warriors. Oh, right. and yeah. So we had a chance to talk about those last, well, what's the all the last White House like? accounts, of, of, you know, events, and yeah. then moving on to the next part of your life. Is okay. it sad to leave, or it's are sad you happy to leave to the people to because normal. you, you know, all the people that work there always work there. Yeah. We knew the butlers and the ushers the when we moved For there because years. we've yeah. known them from when the Bushes lived there. I've yeah. gone back to interview Mrs. Obama and the president a couple times with the Today Show, yeah. and I've got in there and seen these people that I've known my entire life. I love yeah. when you go and interview <laughs> say, them. I yeah. love that they whole. Say, so Jenna, can we get you your oatmeal and your latte? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I better walk across the street with the rest of the crew to get my Starbucks. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> so nice. Things are different now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, yeah. we've loved um, seeing you pop up in different places, especially we just recently saw you on Ellen with former president. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Wasn't that so cute? That's so that cute. Little that girl little girl is so adorable. Yeah, she we're going to so take a darling. quick look. She's a presidential expert. Let's see. <laughs> She's so cute. Do you want to try? Sure. I've been trying to do this forever. <laughs> Hey, Laura, can I do the dishes for you? <laughs> Jenna, one of the things I loved about that was your mom is usually, you know, so reserved totally. and quiet. And I was like, is she really like that at home with your dad? Is she like, oh, of course she does. Sassy? Are you kidding? <laughs> She's the boss um, of us all. The way it should be. But I also, you know, I was watching this with my daughter, Mila, and she was so jealous. She was like, who is that girl? Oh, Why is she looking Hefe? Right. Oh. Why is Hefe? Wait, why is Hefe on TV? She, she calls him Hefe. Oh, yeah. but, that, but by the way, who do you think came up with that name? He came up with uh, 
<laughs> it means what boss. does she call you? Yeah. Grammy. She I just boss. went back for the old traditional, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I love but it. half Bay Spanish, it means boss. And yeah. so he just yeah. wanted somebody to still call him boss. Yes. That's funny. <laughs> well, if you want to hear more about the book, Laura, it's a feel so strange to call her Laura. Laura and yeah. Jenna will be in conversation with Hoda Kotb tonight at the 92nd Street Y at 7.30 p.m. Now, tickets are available at 90. 2y.org. You do not want to miss this, everybody. Ladies, so, thanks, thanks, guys. Come on down. so much fun. Be with y'all. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs>